Hello, colleagues. I'm Jose Aguilar Hernandez, Associate Professor in the Ethnic and Women's Studies and Educational Leadership Departments. I am also the Director for the Office of Interdisciplinary Ethnic Studies, Teaching, and Scholarship. I'm honored and humbled to participate in the 2023 Fall Conference. As the new academic year begins, I'd like to invite us to recommit to do what Cal Poly Pomona faculty and staff do best, and that is to inspire our students to reach their potential. All of us as faculty, staff, and administrators come from diverse backgrounds, and all of us possess knowledges we've gained from our formal educational trajectories and from our families and communities. Now, let me share a little bit about my background. I am the son of immigrant parents from La Encarnacion and Tuxtuac, which are two rural communities in the state of Zacatecas, Mexico. My parents, Esteban and Maria del Socorro, grew up in poverty and consequently only went to school until the second grade. Yet I believe they deserve doctorates because of the many lessons they taught me. I remember that as a teenager, my father would share lessons that have guided my trajectory to the professoriate. On several occasions, after a long day of picking strawberries in the fields of Oxnard, California, my father would arrive home and he would show me his hands. Mira mis manos, he would tell me, which translates to look at my hands. His hands looked swollen and they felt rough. He worked well beyond his retirement to ensure that we had enough money to make ends meet. I believe he showed me his hands to teach me the importance of hard work and tenacity, skills I relied on through my educational trajectory. Dolores Delgado Bernal, education scholar, calls this pedagogies of the home, the cultural knowledge base that helps minoritized students through their educational trajectory. My father's dream for me was that I graduate so that I have access to an air-conditioned job. He wanted me to have access to a different pathway. Now, I am certain that you and I had different trajectories that led us here, and I'm confident that your family and community want you to succeed. I invite you to invoke and carry their dreams for you as you begin this academic year. May their dreams anchor your purpose and dedication to the students we serve. And as we engage with our students, let's work together to dream with them and to ensure they know the diverse pathways available to them here at Cal Poly Pomona. Considering the many challenges we face locally, nationally, and globally, our students' dreams can very well be the foundation for the changes we desperately need to improve the world we live in. Recognizing that we are a diverse community, what can we do to ensure that our students achieve greatness? I invite us to recognize that our students, all of them, are knowledge holders. Let us value their knowledges while honoring the families and communities they are a part of. My wish as we begin this new academic year is that our dreams fuel our commitment to doing the work necessary so that our students succeed. Thank you and have an excellent start to your academic year.